That sound is now under assault. Today's bacon news. Yeah. Sobering. <laughs> I am one of the founders of Bacon Fest Chicago. What began as an idea nearly a decade ago became 170 restaurants, 8,000 pounds of Newski's bacon. And I'm not telling people what they should eat every day. All I think they should do is they should come to Bacon Fest and for that one day eat a lot of bacon. <laughs> mm. Now it and other salted cured brethren are rated with the likes of arsenic, asbestos, tobacco when it comes to causing cancer in a city famed for its love of such meats. It's succulent, it's decadent, uh, you know, it's the perfect meat. Here, the duo started what's now Patty Long's Bacon Pub. Well, it started as an Irish pub. It's co-founder from Dublin. It could do with an extra little bit of oomph. And then we started giving a slice of bacon out with all the little beers that we were, were tasting with people, and it just exploded. You know, I don't think any of us were under the impression that bacon was a health food. It's like a bacon sausage ball wrapped in bacon. Here, the bacon games on tilt. We just can't resist the urge to have bacon. Yeah, it's the caveman thing. Some scientist says, oh, it's going to increase your risks a little bit. You know, life is risk. That's what I say, and bacon is delicious. People just love bacon. Uh. Brad Edwards. Wow. CBS 2 News.